Hey, love bugs, this is Rosalyn back at you one more again. Hopefully, everybody is doing good today. I'm going blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. If you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, go ahead and tell me a line or two. I would love to hear from you, especially if it's about the content of my video today. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and feel like you like what you heard, please like, like and share. I don't know why I want to say subscribe, but like and share. <laughs> like and share. Give me a thumbs up. It will greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for coming to my channel today and seeing what I'm about. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Much love to you. Much love and light. Namaste. Many blessings and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for taking the time out and coming to see about my video today. If you can hear my background music, I'm just going to turn it up a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, it's relaxing music for essence of life, soothing, healing, relaxing, hang drum, flute music for yoga and massage. I will put that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Get in touch with the inner child. I always used to hear that. And I was just like, what does that saying mean? What does that saying mean? Get in touch with your inner child. And it's basically, you know, get in touch with the playful side. The side, like when we were children, where we felt like nothing could do us any harm. To be happy. But then, if you have a flip side to it, it could be you knowing and getting in touch with the trauma that you've been through uh taking the power away from it you know uh, don't allow it to whatever has happened to you as a child be able to hinder you as an, as being an adult you know we have to get in touch with that playful side the you know get in touch with that side that we know that has caused us so much pain and you know, we just need to wake up and realize these things are not happening to us. And what has happened to us, if you don't look at it, is a negative uh, aspect. You know, a negative aspect and actually a positive one. You can use that as a tool. And it's just like when I, it's like the last few weeks, I've been reflecting on a lot of things from my inner child and so I had to get in touch with that you know dealing with the things that you know that really traumatized me to where you know when this first when I first started my awakening back basically if I really wanted to go way back it basically started back in two I think it was like 90, 1999 1999 is when me and my friend were both pregnant at the same time my best friend she she just so happened to pass away a few years ago but um we were talking to psychics and we were just like you know we want to talk to a psychic or whatever like that and that's when my true awakening happened because when i talked to them they were telling me um after i gave them my name and my birth date and stuff like that and this psychic was like dead on and I don't, I don't know why it's like when you go through your awakening a lot of things will come back to you the like the littlest things are you think this irrelevant and she was telling me you know you need to find out the truth about yourself because she's like are you adopted and I said you know it kind of freaked me out a little bit and I'm like yeah you know because I was trying to see if it was real or not and I already knew you know I was I was pregnant at the time I knew what I had so I was trying to see if it was gonna be a real thing like you know make sure my baby was okay and you know all those nice things but then it took a turn for something freaky and the woman was telling me you know your family is hiding something from you you know you're you know one of your um family members are very well distinguished like they're you know they're important to the world i mean what do you mean important to the world important to the world and then she was just like a celebrity somebody who's well known that they look at you know look up to look after and very influenced to and you need to find out you know they left all these things for you but your family does not want this for you at least certain particular parts of your family don't want this for you and if you don't find out she said I was going to go through a world full of heartache and then come to find out I went through all these things. But um, it's just basically, you know, knowing all the things that I went through and, you know, and 
I can establish and look at them as in a positive perspective, even though it was very traumatic. It was very traumatic going through the things I went through. But when I can live to tell it today and know that I've surpassed all those things, those are the reasons why you need to get in touch with your childhood, to be able to face your fears of things that has probably given you a complex or has given you a phobia. You have to look at those things and recognize them for what they are and be able to face your fears. You know, and I used to always, um, <clears throat> like when I tell you about my, the scary movies that I watch, and when it came to my adopted father, I had to basically look at him like, you know, Nancy did um, with Freddie on the first Nightmare on Elm Street. It was just like this man who gave her nightmares for a long time. He's killed off her friends left and right said my adopted dad did not kill off our friends. But I had to look at the, the situation for what it is, you know. You, only way he was able to come back like that unless you fed him your fears, you know, he, he was able to linger around and torture you for that long. So when you are able to look him in his face, you know, look that person in his face or look whatever you're going through in his face and just say, I'm not going to let you have this power over me and you turn your back and take your power back. That's the most best feeling when you can be able to look at whoever caused your issues, whoever caused your problems. You know, and it's sad to say, you know, if somebody has went through something and they're passed on, you know, they really can't get that closure. But with that person that has passed on, and I'm not talking about my father or anything like that, I'm just talking about people in general that has went through something that, you know, it could be a molestation or it could have been like a abuse or it, it could have been any kind of abuse that this person has done and then um they weren't able to get closure from that person or you know because they passed on or whatever and you have to be able to release that if that person is gone there's really nothing else you can pretty much do from that is that heal from that process but if that person is still living you know, I had to do that, you know, it was like about a day before my dad's anniversary. I had to take that power back away from my adopted father and just let him know, I'm not going to allow you to keep doing these things to me. You can't have your cake and eat too. <laughs> you, you know, mentally messed up, mentally scarred me for my whole life and then still try to be in it too. And that's what he tried to do. And it's just like, you know, I, I couldn't allow that anymore. I had to get my power back. And it's just when me with me getting in touch with my inner child really helped me heal and it's just to know that I love myself more I respect myself and I deserve a lot better than what I've been dished out and so when I was allowed to you know when I was able to do that and face those those issues you're able to knock off things that is hindered you or you know keep you from you know doing things that you want to do or it gave you a phobia you know some people go through traumatic childhoods and it gets to the point where they can't have jobs they have high anxiety where they can't keep jobs they don't like going out and all these different things so if you're able to look at those things and recognize them for who they are and get in touch with that inner child the way you should be you're supposed to you know you will feel a lot better you will get that clarity you will get that peace of mind so i hope you are able to resonate with this video and get in touch with your inner child today if you have not lately i know it will be a great feeling that you need to experience it might be something that might be negative but you can bring a positive aspect out of it so i hope you enjoyed my video i hope you were able to resonate with um what i was trying to put out spirit guys told me how to put this out so i'll go ahead and put this out for you all so I hope everybody had a blessed weekend and had a blast on Cinco de Mayo. And I will see you later. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my video. And I would love to hear from you. Drop me a line or two. Or even tell me about, you know, what's your experience or what do you feel like your views are on getting in touch with your inner child. And I will see you on my next video. Stay blessed. Be safe. Send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. If you or anybody else has a low frequency, raise it to the roof. And I'll talk to you later. Peace. Be wild.